So you want to learn how to create this crazy clean splash effect inside of After Effects with basically minimal effort, it's super easy to make. Well stick around because I'm about to break it down step by step. But without further ado, let's get right into After Effects. So I'm in After Effects right now and I got this young Faiso music video right here. And it's just two basic clips, they don't have any effects on them. The first thing that I'll start off by doing is, as you can tell, I already cut it right there where the transition is about to be. But I also cut it right here because that's where I want the transition to start. And then we can start off by creating an adjustment layer. So just right click on the blank space, go to new and create a new adjustment layer and put it on top of all of your layers like this. Then I can actually open up animation presets and under user presets and my ultimate VFX kit. I got over 45 presets in here and 60 assets in total. I got this puddle splash effect and all I simply got to do is just line it up where I want it to start and just drag on this preset and then just make sure that my effects are lined up correctly like this and then I'll just play it through and show you guys what it looks like so just like that simple minimal effort and it looks absolutely crazy so if you guys have the ultimate VFX kit you simply just gotta drag it on and if you don't feel free to go and grab it I'll have it linked in the description and you'll get instant access to some of my best presets and assets that I use for VFX editing but let's break the effect down so to create this effect the first thing that I'll do is add a flow motion effect this is just built in after effects you don't need any paid plugins and then I'll be moving this anchor point up to the middle right there and then I'll go right here where I want the transition to start keyframe the amount and then go to the end right here where it cuts and let's drag it up to like we can do something like 55 and it looks like this right now but it won't even look similar to this when we add all of the other effects on and then i'll just go a few more frames in about over here or maybe like here and turn it back to zero and then i can press u on my keyboard select all of my keyframes and let's mess with the graph editor you can either use the speed graph or the value graph i prefer the value graph and i'll create something like this because we want it to be really subtle and like only effective uh, for a couple of seconds so we'll have it like really slow in the beginning and then speeds up gain momentum right here and then slow down really quickly to something like this because this isn't like the main effect we just want it as a subtle detail then we can actually add on a warp puddle from sapphire and we'll also drag that onto the adjustment layer and i'll start off by turning the amplitude down to zero and turn down the frequency to like 6 or 6.5 and then keyframe the amplitude and then go all the way over here to our other keyframes and let's turn up the amplitude to, to 0 0.15 like this you can tell that we got this puddle effect right now you can also mess with the height if you feel like it i like to keep it around one so i'll keep it like this and then let's go all the way to the end and turn the amplitude down to zero and also keyframe the uh, frequency so here in the beginning keyframe the frequency and then here at the end we can turn it down to like one that way we'll have a lot more movement and i'll keep it like this for now and we'll go ahead and mess with the graph editor a little bit later and i'll add on a sapphire flicker effect and why i add this on right now is because i want it to affect the effects that will come after so if we turn this down to zero right here and right between the cut i turn it up to one then over here I'll turn it back to zero. Now we can add on a distort chrome effect. Which will give us that kind of trippy look as you can see right here. And let's turn it down to zero at the beginning. At the amount, keyframe it. Then go to the other keyframes. And here we can turn it up to like something like 0 0.6. Should be good. Something like this. And then turn it back to zero over here. And then we can go back here and keyframe the blur lens from 96. And right here somewhere we can turn it up to like, let's do 650. Some really high number. So we can get this really distorted look. Or we can even go higher like 800. And now we'll just add some extra finishing touches before we go ahead and mess with the graph editor. The first thing that I'll be doing is adding on a sapphire shake. Like I said, just an extra finishing touch. Let's turn it down to zero at the amplitude and keep the frequency like 12 and turn on motion blur. And then we can keyframe the amplitude. Go over here to the transition, turn it up to like whatever you'd like to. I'll go for 0 0.9 if it's not too much. And then over here, actually, I'll turn it down to zero just like that. And now I'll be messing with the graph editor so I can actually zoom out and just select all of my keyframes and ease all of them. 
and let's start with the warp paddle i don't want it to hit at the transition so i'll create something like this so it goes slow in the beginning and then stops a little bit right here so we can have the transition and then slows out and then for the frequency that i got right here i also wanted to hit at the transition and we got the transition right here so i'll create something like this and now it should hit it and now it should hit at the transition and we'll try to do the same for all of these keyframes we don't have to do too much with the flicker but for the distort chroma same like we did for the puddle something like this and i basically did the same thing for all of these effects and now if i play it through we should have something smooth so let's see and don't forget to turn the motion blur on your adjustment layer and i'll play it through and it looks like this right now which is absolutely sick if you want to add some finishing touches you could add on a radial fast blur like this and just keyframe it right here between the transition so we'll turn up the amount to like let's do something like 75 and keyframe it right there go right here turn it back to zero as well as at the end right here turn it back to zero that's just an extra motion blur and i can actually add on a deep glow as well you can mess with it as you wish but i'm going to keep my deep glow just at the second scene right here so what i'll do is turn it down to zero before this scene ends i'll keyframe it and then turn it up to like 1.3 something like this and turn up the radius as well just as an extra touch and we'll see what it looks like and then right here i can turn it back to zero just gives us that kind of dreamy look and i'm a huge fan of it so i'll actually keep it like that but if it doesn't fit for your scene then don't even include it just leave it out but that's pretty much it this is the final effect and like i said in the intro i'll have the ultimate vfx kit linked in the description so all of you video editors who are trying to spice up your videos make sure to go and grab it and instantly get these presets into your arsenal but thank you so much for watching leave a like and subscribe join the discord link in the description and follow my ig and i'll see you guys in the next one